How to use the magic hexagon for trigonometric identities. This hexagon is a special diagram that will help you remember the trigonometric identities. Sketch the diagram when you're struggling in trigonometric identities. It may help you. Here is how. Now, let's start with the quotient identities. Let's start with tangent is equal to sine over cosine. There are two ways in finding the quotient identities. We have the counterclockwise and the clockwise rotation. Say for instance, the quotient identities of tangent is equal to the sine over cosine for the clockwise rotation. And tangent is equal to the secant over cosecant for the counterclockwise rotation. Therefore, tangent is equal to sine over cosine and also equal to the secant over cosecant. Use same procedure with the other trigonometric identities. And using clockwise rotation, we have tangent is equal to sine over cosine, sine is equal to cosine over cotangent, cosine is equal to cotangent over cosecant, Cotangent is equal to cosecant over secant. Cosecant is equal to secant over tangent. And last, we have secant is equal to tangent over sine. And in counterclockwise rotation, we have cosine is equal to sine over tangent. Sine is equal to tangent over secant. Tangent is equal to secant over cosecant. Secant is equal to cosecant over cotangent. Cosecant is equal to cotangent over cosine. And last, we have cotangent is equal to cosine over sine. We also have the product identities. The hexagon also shows that a function between any two functions is equal to them multiplied together. For example, sine is between tangent and cosine. Multiplying together the tangent and the cosine, we obtain the product identity of sine. Therefore, sine is equal to tangent times cosine. Example is the cotangent is in between cosine and cosecant. Multiplying together, we obtain the product identity of cotangent. For cotangent is equal to cosine times cosecant. Therefore, cotangent is equal to cosine times cosecant. So here are the product identities obtained using same procedure. Sine is equal to cosine times tangent. Tangent is equal to sine times secant. Secant is equal to tangent times cosecant. Cosecant is equal to secant times cotangent. Cotangent is equal to cosecant times cosine. And last, cosine is equal to cotangent times sine. If there's more, you can also get the reciprocal identities by going through the one. For example, sine is equal to 1 over cos secant. For example, a secant is equal to 1 over cosine. So here are the following reciprocal identities obtained using the same procedure. Sine is equal to 1 over cos secant. Tangent is equal to 1 over cotangent. Secant is equal to 1 over cosine. Cosecant is equal to 1 over sine. Cotangent is equal to 1 over tangent. 
and last we have cosine is equal to 1 over secant.